Oh goodness. <laughs> um, love the uh, conversations leading into our shows. So <laughs> we always have our wonderful producer, Dave, who always puts a laugh and a smile on our face. And it's really great um, entering a show to get those nerves. Oh, get relaxed. And also a special shout out to Constance, who's our executive producer and does an amazing job at it. So, and everyone else at A1R Psychic Radio or Moonstruck TV, thank you. So I'm Carmel Ann. I'm your host of today's show, Soulfully Guided. It's good to be back. Last week we talked, we touched on a um, huge topic about um, to, uh, sharing some personal stuff about me and how to unpack digest and break down a problem to make it more manageable. If you missed out on that show, please do watch it. It was the show from the 7th of December. And uh, so today we are going to go into a caller. I'm suffering the great Australian man flu. Okay. So no offense to any man out there, but I really totally get how you're feeling when you have the man flu. Um, totally suffering it. Don't have the husky voice. It's not COVID, but I'm doing it tough. So I hope that we're, we're okay for our caller that's coming in. Um, oh, so I wanted to share it, something as well today. So it's um, maybe a bit of a pick on my husband, Day, who got these beautiful flowers that his favourite type of flowers, which are the free ones from the garden. But I'm very, very grateful we have beautiful flowers and he's been able to be picking them for our show every week. So that's hugely, ah, that's really special. <laughs> so um, now I was... Um, my husband, we, we work our schedules off Google. If we've got something, we do it, add it to our Google calendar. So we know what's going on for the kids, what's going on for the whole family. And it's really easy to access in our each individual calendars with our emails. So he sends me this email, right? And this is how I am anti-magic. So any psychics, any intuitives, anyone that uses their gut instincts and is married or in close friendships or circles, I'm sharing the anti-magic and the so the ruiner of all surprises um, thing that happened. So we're making a joke of it on Facebook and Insta. If you want to head over to our Insta page and Facebook. Um, on the So my husband sent me an invite and it was for the 23rd of December between 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. It said Carvel and Special. Now, I'm either in trouble because it says Carvel and my full name, but maybe... It's something, oh, we've got a caller in. So, Mary, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. Let me just share this quick story and then I'm going to go into you and do your reading. So, have a think of what you'd like to ask. Take a few breaths, relax, and then we'll get into your reading. So, for everyone else that's listening, um, I had a download, an intuitive hit when I pressed accept on the calendar. And I realized I knew where he was taking me and it's somewhere special that I've always wanted to go. So if, any, <laughs> if anyone is a psychic or married to a psychic and intuitive and all those fancy, beautiful thing, gifts that we have, um, well, <laughs> I've ruined my husband's surprise, but he's put on his poker face. He's not telling me if I'm right or wrong. We're going to find out on Facebook. I'm going to say if I did have a, positive intuitive hit because it doesn't usually work for me personally so if you want to um laugh at our joke and be entertained at how um our psychics can ruin all great wonderful surprises head over to our facebook page but back to you mary thank you for holding okay what would you like to ask today um if you get any message from the other side um, okay. From my girls. From your whom? Sorry. From my girls, my daughters. From your daughter? Okay. I'm not a medium. Two of them. I do connect. I do connect with the cards. I'm more than happy to try this for you. Oh, two of them. Okay. So what I'm going to do? I'm so if, what? So you just want to know how they're doing and if they're okay and any messages? Yes, if you can. All right, I'm going to try my best and I and feel my way through this as an empath. I'm going to pull some separate cards for each of your daughters, okay? Can I have their names, please? 
hear me? Thing. And sorry, what was that, Dave? Can you just tell me the names? Because if I can't hear properly, so Mary, Tammy. what were their names? Tammy and Becky. Tammy. Tammy and Becky. Yeah. Okay, great. So yes. Could I please connect with Tammy, please? Mary's daughter. Can I please have messages? Let me know if they're okay. Let's connect with Tammy, please. Oh. Oh. Could we clarify for that, please? Okay. Could I please connect with Becky and tell me, are you okay? And what do you want to tell your mum, please? Okay. And an outcome card. Okay. All right. So we're looking at Tammy and Becky. Wow. <laughs> what beautiful, beautiful girls and how much they love you. Tammy, there's an element of childhood there, a really good childhood, like love and receiving love from you. And I think she is uh -huh. such a proud now when i say proud i mean we get the card of victory your daughter tammy was so happy to be your daughter and she wants as much love and beauty and and affection that you gave to her she wants you to have that back too i think <sighs> yes that, that sounds very much like her and I'm going to say this, and please, I mean no disrespect or to hurt you or to, to downplay your pain. You need to see the signs, okay? You need to be mindful that you deserve to be happy too. You can't always put pain and harshness and, you know, I know what you've lost is very hard and, and un unimaginable, but there is an element of you that deserves to be happy. And Tammy wants that so much for you. I think she's doing great. On the other side, there is not a challenging card here for her. There is so much love and amazement and, and, and proudness to be your daughter. And um, she wants you to be happy and enjoy your blessings that you do have and the memories that you do have. How do you feel about that? That's wonderful. That is wonderful. Excellent. I'm glad I could help. Now, let's look into Becky. I think Becky had her own challenges and struggles, like maybe fighting her own demons and her own challenges. And sometimes it felt like it got the better of her and, you know, over her head. Does that make sense to you? It does. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. want you to know. Sorry, I cut you. Okay. I want you to know on the other side, she's very grounded and in an emotional space where she's able to let things go and be, in our sense, on an earthly level, be grounded, be content with herself be complete she's very complete where she is she's um she's at peace with herself and i feel that a problem of hers was understanding boundaries and being strong-minded and learning to say no i feel that tammy's uh, that i feel that becky's biggest message to you is to please don't carry those qualities be strong learn to say no Put yourself first, a strong mind, and then that will make you feel so more emotionally connected to yourself and to others. So please, that is a strong message coming through from Becky. Do you resonate with that? Yeah, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Just want to say you're an amazing mother and you continue to be an amazing mother. 
Your children, Tammy and Becky, will live on forever in your heart and as long as you keep those memories alive. Please appreciate how great a mother you are and how much they love you beyond this earth. Okay, that's, that's nice to hear that. I am I'm having a little bit of trouble. Third. I'm just having a little, little bit of trouble understanding us. I, I heard something that cut out and then you were wondering. I was wondering if they are together. Are they together? Yeah. Tammy. So are Tammy and Becky together? Is there, a, is there a masculine figure that is passed over as well? Um, my father, their grandfather. I believe they are together with him. And I, okay. and I do feel we are gonna run out of time. I do wanna say, I feel they're all together with your father. I did get a sort of nauseated feeling and I feel that their journeys towards the other side were separate, but they've all come together. So they are in a, all a very good place and your father is taking great care of them. They are very happy as a trio. That's so wonderful he's come to hear that. A, yeah, he's come up as a very strong figure linking everyone together. Mary, okay. thank you so much. Thank you very much been very helpful it is it is my pleasure to be able to connect and read on such an important aspect of your life and your wonderful children all the best and season's greetings to you in a wonderful new year and and please remember to be happy and to set those boundaries as well